Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Matic is getting closer to this descending trend line here that we see on the chart. Um, I've been focusing on this trend line now in the last few videos because as the price is getting closer to it, the probabilities for an upside breakout increase. I don't see any really good setup here or anything until we break above the trend line. That could actually be a reasonable trend line breakout setup. Now I'm not telling you to take the trade because Matic has been um, quite disappointing over the last few months, but still it is still an interesting one given that oh, you might want to tra trade it. I mean, it's up to you, right? I'm just highlighting here. It's an important, um, let's say it's an important signal. I think if we break above this trend line, of course, trend lines sometimes fail. Um, well, the breakers fail. But if we get a convincing breakout, it could indicate that at least the fourth wave corrective rally is unfolding. Yeah? Remember, remember that on this chart, we are also tracking the white count, which is the bullish one. This has certainly decreased in likelihood, which would allow for a third wave rally. Still, it's not invalidated, still possible. Good reward to risk put, um, profile for that scenario. That's a one, two setup and the wave two might have bottomed already, but um, this needs to prove itself or we could be in the yellow wave count for one more low, let's say a marginally lower low in this um, cycle before the next rally occurs. That means, first of all, I would wanna rule out that we are in the yellow fourth wave to get more bullish. And obviously both would point higher Okay, um, maybe after one more low, but both would point higher either in a wave four that should still happen at some point. And the wave four resistance area is defined between 56.7 and 77.9 cents. And then we could get one more low. Um, but yeah, if, if we can get that ruled out with a break above 78 cents, then we can focus more on the white wave count, which can still send us high in this market, in this cycle. The problem is that first of all, to get an understanding that we have f formed some kind of a low, we wanna see first a break above the nearest resistance. So the nearest resistance area that we've been caught below is defined between 10.41 and 46 cents. Um, not 10.41, <laughs> 41 cents and 46 cents. Here, the red zone. And yeah, only a break above it coupled with a break above the trend line would basically mean that we're breaking out of the local range. I mean, it's still caught in a range. There's literally not much more I can say to you now, because first of all, we need to establish, have we actually formed some kind of a low, a low of sorts here on the 5th of August. I'm not willing to confirm that. Um, I'm not willing to confirm that until we see a break above the descending trend line. Okay, so that's, you know, we wanna see it break out of the local range minimally. And then, yeah, if we do that, you know, we can watch for this ABC structure higher next. Obviously, if the A wave is a five wave move, maybe it's already started, difficult to say. First, I need to see a break above resistance. Then we can follow the A wave. If the A wave turns into a five wave move, then the B wave pullback, which could be corrective, might be a setup for a C wave rally higher. A, B, C. And yeah, then from there, a fifth wave down possibly. Yeah, This is what we're watching for. And then obviously, if we get above this resistance, something more bullish. So overall, not much change, but we see a little bit of upside momentum today. I wouldn't get too excited until we, well, at least break above here the highs from early in August. Okay, so you can see that here actually, these previous swing highs there. They need to break first, okay? So for, for now, really, we're just ranging. We're just ranging. We have a bit of a good day here. Yeah, Medic shows a little bit of potential, but yeah. It's uh, it's not clear what it is exactly. I could give you a lot of different wave counts here, right? It's no point. So best is to highlight the levels. And the good news is for the bulls that the pullback was just in three waves, okay? So the pullback was just in three waves, which means we could um, at least 
watch for higher prices because the market also reacted to support. Yeah, but what can I say? Pay attention to the trend line. It might, it might get tested in the next few days and then it's going to get interesting finally because so far, you know, this hasn't really changed for many, many months given that we have stayed or have been staying below this trend line now for a long time. So it's time for a change. But I would first see this as a way for, would want to rule it out. And then we can look at something more bullish if we break above the larger resistance area. That's the update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.